the next thing that we are going to <clears throat> move on to is going to be the bar charts now bar charts are also pretty simple um, you have these various options on the first line itself of the various kinds of bar charts and uh, and again, you can design them the same way. You can just click on the bar chart and it will get added to your uh, report designer canvas or you can just drag and drop the fields directly and then click on the visualization and it will get converted to the appropriate type as well. So now for now, I have clicked on the very first visualization from here, which is going to be a stacked bar chart. So bar charts are basically used when you want to uh, view your uh, measure or aggregated data across certain categories. So categories are again any of the dimension fields. Um, let's take a simple category manufacturer in this uh, example. And now if I select this visualization, I can also see in this fields well that the different options over here. I can add an axis. So all these bar charts will have an axis. I can add my category to the axis. I can add my measure to the values and then I can also add something to the legend to further slice it and dice it the visualization by maybe color coding it or separating it based on the stacks because this is a stack back um, bar chart. So let's start with adding something to the axis. Let's add a simple, let's say, manufacturer to the axis okay so just drag and drop it to the axis i could have also added it directly to the visualization and it would have taken it now again this is very small so just for the purpose that we are able to see it clearly let's go to text search text and increase the font size and as i mentioned earlier it's only for the designer canvas uh, if you look at this report on the dashboard, the text size might not be such a problem if you leave it to the default sizes. So you have to check it out and then change it. It's just for our purposes so that we are able to see it clearly. So now we have uh, changed the text size. Let's go back to the fields well. So we have added the category. We cannot see anything because we haven't yet added any, uh, any of the measure that we want to. Uh, <clears throat> we want to display across these uh, categories. So now the next step is to add a measure. The measure can be anything from this fact table. So let's add sales. And now this time let's drag and drop it to the window itself. So once we drag and drop it to the window, we can see that this is a vertical kind of stack chart. And we can see uh, for these categories, the categories are on the Y axis and the measure values are on the X axis. And this is a kind of chart that we have got over here. Now, what happens to the legend? What we can do in the legend is add one more uh, attribute uh, by which we want to categorize the data. So I'm just going to add category from here to the legend. Now you can see that these have been color coded and you have got a nice li uh, little legend over here that displays uh, what color represents which category. So this is a simple, very simple stacked bar chart. We can change the direction of this. So now uh, I have made it vertical just by clicking on the other option over here. So this becomes a column chart now. And you have your uh, different manufacturers over here. You have your sales amount over here. And then you have these color coded by the legend, which and these colors are mentioned over here in the legend itself. <clears throat> Now, what are the other options in the bar charts? You can have a clustered bar chart, which we'll see clustered column chart. You can have a 100% stacked bar chart as well. Now, and this is your 100% stacked column chart. So if I click on, on this stacked 100% stacked column chart, now what will happen is this chart will get converted to something like this. Now, what is the difference between the stacked chart and the 100% stacked column chart? It's visible uh, by the graph that we have got on this side now. As you can see, this is a 100% means that all these different bars are ending on this 100% axis. So what you basically have got <coughs> over here is your uh, <coughs> sales amount in terms of the percentages of the whole uh, sales amount for these different manufacturers and categories 
and now if uh, let's go to some this one let's say this has got different colors if you hover on this you'll see that your category is mixed your manufacturer is colors and your sales amount is displayed in dollar terms as well as the percentage this is going to be your 7.14 percent uh, the other one is your 13.05 percent then you have your 76.98 percent and then you have the last one at 2.84 percent if you add together all these percentages these are going to add up to 100 percent uh, in a hundred percent stack bar chart, your uh, different categories that we have created are not going to start from the zero axis. Okay, they're going to stack uh, on top of each other and then add up to a hundred. And if you convert this back to a normal column stack chart, what is going to happen is that everything is going to uh, start from hundred. So that's why you don't have all these adding up to a hundred percent okay so that is the difference in terms of a stacked chart and in terms of a normal uh, column stacked chart okay. um, so you can change your directions to this now this is a clustered bar chart that is one of the other options in the bar chart you can have a clustered column chart uh, what does a clustered column chart does uh, it does not uh, stack the different categories on the same bar now you can see that you've got different bars for each of the category right next to each other so they're very they are aligned very close to each other right but they're different bars for each category in case of a stack chart we have the same bar color coded for different categories in case of a cluster chart you have different bars of different varying widths uh, not varying with static width uh, right next to each other for each of this manufacturer, the four categories will be displayed by four separate charts. So four separate uh, separate column bars. Right. Okay. So these are the various options that you can play around with in terms of your column charts. Um, column charts, as I mentioned earlier, the use of column charts is simply to display some measure value and the distribution of that measure value across a category or categories now we have uh, seen in uh, when in uh, case of the matrix and the table charts we have seen that there are two different options over here the format option uh, which allows you to format the different things over here so these are very standard options over here there is nothing very different for this uh, particular chart you can change the background you can turn the data labels on if you turn the data labels on you will see that the data the exact amount is displayed on this bar itself uh, you can change the data colors uh, obviously of the legends if you do not like these colors you can go and choose them choose any of your colors whichever colors you wanted to set you want to set the chart to so again select the visualization to be able to see the properties now you will also be able to see that there is uh, another pane over here which is called analytics now let's uh, click on this analytics pane this analytics pane in this case is going to give us a constant line so it has the option where you can add a constant line a constant line basically if you click on it and say add it will ask you where you want to add that constant line now if you take a closer look at this graph now you'll see that there is one dotted line blue color dotted line at the very bottom at the zero mark which has already been added to this report because the default value was zero you can change this value to wherever you want to add it so let's say we want it to add to one billion so you have to actually put it all put down all the zeros over here so one two three four five six seven Seven, eight, nine. Okay. And now we have reached one billion. So now you can see that this constant line is appearing over here. Right? You can change the color of it. So if you want it to stand out much more, you can change it to black. You can change the transparency of it. Uh, you can change the style of this line. You can change it from dash to a solid line so that it stands out even more or a dotted line 
you can change its position in front or behind you can turn on the data label if you want it to be very clear so it will show you here which uh, it's showing the exact data point on which this data this has been created okay and then if you turn on the data label you'll have various formatting options associated with that as well what is the color you want your data label in what is the position and so on all right so most of the times you might not be wanting the data label on the content line So why is this constant line an option in the analytics pane over here? Because this is a line that is just going to help you analyze your data in terms of, let's say you have some target goal that is set for your association for the sales amount. So you can create a constant line and add it to your bar chart so that we can see that for which categories or which manufacturers we have exceeded the goal for which we are yet to meet the goal. So in this, it's very clear that we have, if, if our target goal of sales was 1 million, <clears throat> then it's very clear from this graph now that for the manufacturer of Enastel and Natura, we have exceeded this goal. We have met this goal already for the others. We are yet to meet this goal. So this is the kind of interpretation that we can get from adding these kind of analytic lines. Now the analytic lines that are available for a visualization also vary depending on the kind of visualization we are building for bar chart. We have just one option, which is going to be your constant line. 